Europe. You, you know, Carl, when you talk with, with people who are of some means, the first thing they talk, to, talk about is Europe, is Ukraine. And it's either let's fight for a tie and get the stock market up, or let's beat the Russia. And that's this dichotomy that is really riveting the head fund managers around the world. Interesting way in which uh, maybe a change in control of the House could alter that conversation as well. Do you think a November 2nd, 75 basis hike is good for the election? <laughs> There's the opening bell and the CNBC real-time real -time exchange of the big board today. Uh, triple flag precious metals ringing the bell, recognizing a recent listing at the NASDAQ. Lithium-ion battery supplier Dragonfly Energy Holdings celebrating the closing of its business combination and commencement of trading. Jim, we didn't mention this piece by uh, the journal's Nick Timoros a few moments ago, but the, the crux of it is that 75 is in the cake, but that, that some Fed officials want to have a conversation of how to telegraph 50 for December without sparking a major rally. I think that that's very right on. Uh, I do think that we do want to see. I, look, the Fed is the Fed per se political. In this country, everything's political. And if you raise rates and the House and the Senate change, I think you're going to start saying maybe we are too. You know, we're, we don't mean to royal the American economy. Uh, but I think it's very important to start focusing. I'm not political. But focusing on what the Fed's doing versus a change in the House and Senate.